Hey, I hope you're doing well today. And today I have an exciting video for you. So this is going to be connecting NA10 to the Zapier MCP server. And this is going to give us a lot more access to integrations and apps through Zapier. Okay, so this is going to make our NA10 workflows all the more powerful utilizing MCP or model context protocol. So let's get into it. Now, if you haven't heard about Zapier before, they're kind of like the OG of automation platforms. Okay, so we can see here as well that they do have a lot of apps, right? They have over 8,000 apps or integrations with their platform. Now, in comparison to like NA10, for instance, NA10 has roughly just over a thousand. So this is going to give us a lot more room of all the apps that we can start integrating through our NA10 workflows as well. Okay. Now I'm just going to follow the guide that I've made here as well. So first things first is we need to go to this website right here. So it's just sapia.com slash MCP. Okay. So we just open that up in another browser or another tab rather. Now, in terms of the integrations, they've actually only mentioned platforms like Cursor, OpenAI, you know, like ChatGPT or custom built MCP clients, right? But we're going to connect all of this via NA10. So we'll just scroll up to the top, click get started, and then we should be right here. So after we've already signed up and whatnot, we should be right here. All we have to do from here, okay? So we can just click to reveal. That's my actual URL right there, okay? So that's the endpoint. That's where we're going to be connecting to. That's the MCP server. All we have to do is copy URL. Now you'll notice as well that this is an SSE, which is a server sent event, okay? So this is different to the normal setup that we've probably seen with MCP servers, where we're using NPX and it's like at model context protocol, blah, 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 right? This is going to be a little bit of a different setup, but it's actually a lot easier, which is really, really good. And then all we're doing after this is we're going to configure the actions. So we'll click on that. And then from here, this is where we're starting to add new actions. So this is like what kind of apps and tools, integrations do you want to get on your MCP server to connect to? Okay. So all we have to do is click on add new connection. And then in the action little search input field here, we just search. Okay. So just think about it like a little search engine. So let's just say Gmail. Okay. We'll put in Gmail. We might say send email. And the great thing is as well, when you're connecting things, and this is the difference with Zapier, Zapier in terms of the connections with all of these platforms is very, very uh, easy, right? Because they've already kind of like made the experience really seamless and easier, even as opposed to NA10, for example. So all we have to do is just say like, in this case, you know, I do have one connected, but we would just go to connect new. Then I'm just logging in. Okay, press continue. Obviously allow. And yeah, you're connected. You're ready to go. But what we can actually do here as well is actually click it. Now, if we wanted to have the AI guess the value, meaning our AI agent within NA10 is going to input the actual to here, the, the email recipient, the email address in this field. So we probably would want to set this to have AI guess the value for this field, right? Now for the subject, I would suggest the same thing because we don't want a hard-coded um, static subject line and the same thing for the body. Then all we have to do is just press enable action and we have Gmail send email already set up. And I mean, look, there are a lot of apps on here that you can use. Okay. I mean, you won't even be able to go through all of them. There are just so many things on here. Okay. So let's get this set up in NA10 as well. So we'll just copy that URL that we saw previously. Okay. So we'll just copy that. Now that's going to give us the actual server URL. You don't want to be showing this link to anyone. Okay. And obviously even after this video, I'm going to have to delete that. Now, all we're going to do, we're going to start with an on chat message, exit out of there, move it aside a little bit. We'll press a little plus sign, click advanced AI, AI agent, get out of there as well for now. We'll connect the chat model. I'm going to set mine to GPT 4.0. Okay. So I'll just go find that. There he is. We'll move that aside as well. We'll click on the tool. We'll search up MCP. Now, if you haven't set up self-hosting before, do check out my MCP guide. It's a complete guide going from A to Z on how to get set up and utilizing and using MCP service. Okay. So now once we're in here, we do have our credentials. So I'll just say in this case, let's create a new credential. Now, normally we're, we're used to doing this kind of setup, right? We put an NPX, Y, at model, context, you know, protocol, something like this, right? Something like that. In this case, we don't want to do that. What we're going to do is actually click on service sent events in this case. And this is actually even a lot easier because all we have to do 
is just take that out, paste in our URL that we got from Zapier, okay, which was this one right here. We're pasting that in. We'll rename this. I'll just rename it to Zapier 2 because I do already have one. I'll press on save, okay, exit out of there. And now we have the tool description, we have the operations and list tool, okay? So for the time being, we just wanna list the tools just so we know that we're actually getting connected as well. Now, once we do have that node set up, press on open chat and just type in something very simple, just like uh, list tools for MCP client. I will have to change that name as well. I'll just call it Zapier2. Now we can see already that our Gmail send email based on the action that we just added before, okay, so coming back here, this was the action I added before, Gmail send email, we can already see that on our MCP server right here, okay? So we're already connecting to that, it is already available for us to use. Now in here, we can see that this is the tool name, Gmail send email, okay? So we could even just copy that if we like. And we also have the parameters, okay? So these are the parameters that are gonna be utilized by our AI to know, okay, what do I have to send? What um, parameters do I have to use for each thing? Okay, so this is pretty important as well. Now, if we just move this down, first thing I'm gonna do here, this one here is actually a listing tools. So I'll probably just rename it listing tools. I'm gonna duplicate this one, have another copy, pull them down here. I'll call this one Zapier execute tools, okay? I'll set this to manually because I want to give a description so that the AI agent understands what this actual tool is for. I'll put the operation for execute tool, okay? In the tool name here, I'll put the little curly brackets, right? And put a dollar sign from AI. You can just click this at the top, put the little, um, what do you call that? Apostrophe, I think you call it. And then just type in tool underscore name. And then there you go, you're done. For the tool parameters, you see this little button here, let the model define this parameter. We just click that and that's done as well. Now in the description, we just want to say, call this tool to, all right, call this tool to send emails using the tool name, gmail underscore send underscore email, okay? And then we can go back here. Now, just to give you an idea as well, the actual like requirements for sending an email, we can come back and check that action as well. And we have the parameters here as well. So we do have to obviously have an email because, well, who's going to receive the email, right? We don't put that and no one receives an email. That'll be useless. The subject, okay, and the body. So these are requirements for some reason. This isn't a requirement, but well, there you go. So we're going to put to subject and body. We probably also want to put in those kind of values as well. So we have the tool name as gmail underscore send underscore email. And then we can say with parameters and we'll just put two. And it was subject and body. Okay. So those are the parameters. So that's what it's going to be putting within here, which is the parameters. And for the tool name, it's going to be that gmail send email. Okay. Which is going to go right here. Now, if we come back. We can actually test this right now as well, okay? And, you know, this is where you have to make some refinements as well. Do we need to develop a little bit of a prompt first for our agent to better understand its actual purpose and task? Possibly as well, but let's just test this and see if it works. So we'll just say, send email to Buzzbeam Australia, Chimacon, ask him if the Facebook ad report is ready for next week. Let's just see if it works. It might work straight away. It might fail. Let's just have a look there. Oh, well, there you go. You probably can't see it, but I've just received an email. Um, there you go. Okay, so we re received that email. That's successfully working. The AI agent is understanding the task. They understand what to do. Okay, the MCP server is also obviously working. Great. Everything is good to go. Okay, now it's just a matter of, okay, what actions what things do i want to add to this as well and this is where yeah the sky's the limit at this point okay so you could add so many actions in here and this is the great thing about it all let's just say for example you know Airtable is a big one we want to get Airtable connected so we just go uh you know maybe create record okay same thing here again you know connect new 
I mean, I already have a connection there already, obviously. But what I really like about Zapier is that they have direct um, access to the platform, right? So we're not going, in, oh, create a token first, do that first. All you have to do when you come here, obviously you add your base, okay? So it's gonna be all current and future bases in this workspace, grant access, click on that. And then we have Airtable Connect, okay? It's as simple as that. And really this is more than just Gmail and Airtable and everything like that. This could be several, you could have literal hundreds of different integrations, right? Utilizing just a single node here in NA10. And then we can just have fun with it. We can just go, all right, what do I need here? Maybe a CRM, okay? So we can see our CRMs here as well. Click on this. Obviously we have Salesforce, we have Pipedrive, Zoho, you know, all the big players. They're generally already gonna be on here, to be honest with you. I mean, a lot of them are on NA10 as well, but you're gonna find a lot of stuff that isn't on NA10 and allowing us to actually get connected to that via the Zapier MCP is gonna make things a whole lot easier, I can tell you right now. And what this means, right, is that now NA10 essentially has access to another 8,000 apps and making NA10 all that more powerful because now we're gonna get access to all of this as well. Now I have the full guide on my school community for this as well. So if you do wanna go through it in school, if you think it's a little bit easier to read the text and you know have everything set up for you so you can really just copy paste things without thinking too much, it is there in the school. But if I don't see it in the school, I'll definitely see it in the next video. Catch you then.